if I had been able to see Skyfall before finishing the book, I would have had to then write a chapter about Daniel Craig, who's a superb Bond, and I think has guaranteed another 50 years for the franchise. Great music track, Adele's song, which is Bond music. It's, it goes it's back to the John Barry style of, and it's not stealing from John Barry, but you're, you know, you're, this is a Bond film. Uh, well, I think I think people are missing a great deal, and so they, you know, as somebody said on an interview this morning, they're waiting for the to go and see it on IMAX to see Skyfall. Well, I think I think you lose a lot of scope with the television screen, although the screens are getting larger and there there is more clarity. I don't think there is anything quite the equivalent of dressing up, well people dress down now of course to go out. I don't like uh, everybody sitting having a lunch and dinner around me, uh, popcorn rustling. <laughs> I, well, I, th I think violence, uh, it's, be it's become uh, pornography actually. I don't think they, they have to be that violent. I think it's that one tries to outdo the other. And also, a little too much fantasy for me. I steal men and, <laughs> and raise. <laughs> I like good old fashioned romantic comedies, Cary Grant movies. The epitome of sophistication, people say you know, Cary Grant or, or David Niven, but Cary's humor was completely scatological. He loved uh, whoopee cushions and little hand. <laughs> <laughs> he just adored all that sort of thing. A bit like Blake Edwards. I think it's exciting sometimes with an audience to see their anticipation of a joke that's coming up or a piece of action and their shock horror. I remember the, in particular the, the re audience reaction at, uh, when the parachute opens and becomes the Union flag of England. Uh, you know, it didn't matter what country it saw it in, there was applause. Even countries that don't like the English, there are a few misguided people.